can a woman use radiation if she, if she has breast implants? Ah, I love our people who are following us out there because they ask such great questions. Terrific question. Yeah, no, this is a good one. Yeah, well, it's a really good one because, as a matter of fact, I have a case just like that right now. Uh, beautiful augmentation of several years ago, young woman, tiny little cancer. Uh, you know, the breast ends up, Lisa, being pancaked out. The implant, sort of like my fist here, pushes up in the breast tissue. The skin's on top. So the breast ends up being sort of like a pancake draped over the top of the implant. Now, the bottom line from this is if you do whole breast radiation therapy, unfortunately there's a real increased incidence of thickening of the capsule that normally forms around the implant. Oh, and yeah. that can get uncomfortable. And and, it, can, oh. it can be painful. It can, yeah. can contract. Uh, so the plastic surgeon may have to go back in and take out that thickened capsule. So in general, we've tried to avoid whole breast radiation therapy in that set of circumstances <clears throat> because we know what can happen down the road. Now, <clears throat> one of the things we've been doing here is called single fraction of radiation therapy where at the time of surgery we take out the, the, the small cancer, bring the overlying tissue together and then uh, do the um, uh, radiation therapy right focused on the area. We have a special unit in our operating room to deliver electron uh, radiation therapy then uh, radiating just that small area of the implant probably will have no Im impact on thickening the capsule or whatever but it's 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 a tough situation uh, and so again you want to be working with a multidisciplinary team to see what's right for you in some of these situations Lisa what we've been doing here is with the larger tumors with an implant we've been doing the nipple sparing mastectomies and therefore generally you don't need the radiation therapy we can deliver the breast out through the fold underneath the breast uh, put a temporary um, tissue expander in place do chemo if you need it or don't need it or whatever and then a few months later put a new permanent implant in and in that set of circumstances you, you do lose sensation but we've got a much better cosmetic outcome than if we tried to irradiate somebody. So that's another option if you're working again with a multidisciplinary team. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.